this is Volleyball! Volleyball was invented by William J. Morgan in the year 1895, four years after basketball was invented. It was originally named Mittenet. The game was designed to be a combination of basketball, baseball, tennis, and handball. The United States Volleyball Association was formed in 1928 when volleyball became a real sport. The first volleyball net was only six feet six inches high, and spiking was first introduced to the game by the Philippines in 1916. The first beach volleyball game was played in 1930. The game was introduced to the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 1964, and the Women's Professional Volleyball Association was formed in 1986. A point or rally is started when one team serves the ball. To serve, a player hits the ball to the opposing side. Both teams shouldn't let the ball hit the ground or the net. One team can hit the ball up to three times and no one player can hit the ball twice in a row. There are six players on the court, three in the front and three in the back. They move in a clockwise direction. In order for a team to win, it must be the best of five sets. In each set, the first to win 25 points wins as long as there's two, there are two points ahead. So in volleyball, a player can get hurt in many ways. For example, they can hurt their shoulder, hand, leg, ankles, and knees. According to the injury distribution chart, the ankle is likely to be injured at 18% and the knee is more likely to be injured at 24%. As you can see on this chart, knee and ankle injuries occur more often than other injuries. In fact, we're going to talk about the knee and ankle as the most common injuries. The first most common injury that volleyball players face is ankle sprains. An ankle sprain is the tearing of the ligaments in the ankle, commonly happening on the lateral side of the ankle. They usually occur when the foot is planted inversely and plantar flexed. Swelling and ecchymosis may occur. Treatment within the first two to three days usually consists of the RICE method, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Physical therapy and the use of an ankle brace is highly recommended. Surgery is rarely required even for the most severe ankle sprain. To prevent ankle sprains, stretch before and after exercising, do special exercises that strengthen the muscles around the ankle, and do balancing exercises. Due to the fact that volleyball requires players to jump, repeated jumping, especially on hard surfaces like a gym floor, causes inflammation of the patellar tendon. This is when the tendon becomes inflamed by micro tears resulting in knee pain and stiffness. You can prevent by jumping less and strengthening the knee muscles. Seek attention from medical expert if you experience pain from jumping. Jumper's knee or patellar tendonitis, you elevate the knee, you ice it down, and you take the knee. So how did you get started with volleyball, and what advice do you have for new starters? I started playing volleyball in junior high because my brother was in high school and he was playing it, and we thought that I might really enjoy it, so I started doing it. Thanks, John. I am from Utah, and I saw your championship that you won the other day. And so I'm wondering, what was the most important lesson that you ever learned as a player, and how has it helped you? The most important lesson I learned that season was that volleyball is the ultimate team game. We went into that game knowing that we had six individual players that were great. But by the end of the season, we had a team. Six guys working as hard as they can as soon as they step onto the floor. That is the mentality that we need. It is the same mentality we have with Team USA in Beijing. What are some of the most important characteristics and skills needed for a middle blocker? One of the most important skills for a middle blocker is being able to read the game. You have to be able to see things almost before they even happen, or you'll end up getting lost. How has winning a gold medal in the Beijing Summer Olympic Games made an impact on your life? Winning the gold in Beijing will forever be the highlight of my career. Nothing will or ever could touch the label of Olympic champion. 
when you are doing training, what does a typical training session consist of? When I'm in season, I like to lift weights in the morning two to three times a week. Lifting weights makes me feel better and I can feel a difference on the court too. Strength is a very big part in being an elite athlete. I will practice six times a week for about two hours. I like practices that have a purpose and a goal. How did your injury occur? I jumped up to spike the ball and I landed on my ankle um, on the inward this way and the inward that way. Did you have to go through rehabilitation before you got back into the game? Yes. I had to go into the ice water bath and do some ankle exercises, like spinning the clockwise direction 20 times and the other way around 20 times. Has the rehabilitation helped? Yes, I believe so, because I got back into play even though uh, it wasn't fully healed yet, but it didn't hurt that bad. How long did it take you to get back into the game? Well, I was a bit impatient, so I got back into play in two days, but it was all fine. I had to be in the volleyball team as soon as possible. What did you first do when you got injured? I first elevated, I iced it, and I just rested. How long do you think it'll take to fully heal? Right now, I injured it two to three weeks ago, and it's still in the healing process, but then my ankle sprain was probably not mild, and so I would say about two to three weeks, if it's moderate. Are you struggling to build muscle mass? Do you have trouble sleeping at night knowing you're a pathetic little weakling? Do you go to the gym often, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything? We've got the product you've been waiting for your entire life. Say hello to Maximum Power. This powder contains muscle building amiibos from beef, and it's 350% more concentrated than steak. It contains no gelatin or collagen, and is free from fat, cholesterol, lactose, gluten, and sugar. Drink it after your workout to let the aminos go to work, and you'll gain 7.7 .7 pounds of muscle mass in just 8 weeks. It comes in vanilla, caramel, strawberry, chocolate, cheesecake, and coconut flavors. Don't waste another second of your life being a wimpy little baby. Call now to get your free trial of Maximum Power. You, you can, can be strong, strong like, like us! us. Get your maximum power now. Don't wait. Call in the next 24 hours and you'll get another one free. That's right, free. All you have to do is call 1-800-627-746-686 or it's 1-800-MASSIMUM. Again, it's 1-800-627-746-686 or it's 1-800-MASSIMUM. I'm sorry. <laughs>
It's really Kiara. <laughs> Kiara's the worst kid. <laughs> I can't even see myself. <laughs> Around the chin. <laughs> see, you keep on running away from Barry. What you doing? And that's how you get They went on a wild goose chase. But we came off the floor. Off the floor. <laughs> Unless they took drugs. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to, but for my tennis team. Oops! Oh, I was a tennis team, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you have a problem, Jake? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I threw it. <laughs> Best noise, okay. Pathetic little weakling. You go to the gym often, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. sugar, and lactose, and is free from fat, cholesterol, sugar, lactose, and glucose. I already said that. Hold on. Don't waste another second of your life being a wimpy little baby. Call now to get your free trial. Drink it after your workout to let the amoeba. Amoebos. Amoebos. It's a little amoeba. This is what the really got. Now, that's what I'm doing. Amoeba. Worst out of time ever. You oh. don't. <laughs> oh, use your other arm. Oh. <laughs> Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I swear those bats like you. I cannot fart. <laughs>